Hello everybody, this is Matt, back with some more Just For Fun. I'm enjoying the marvelous sunlight today. It was actually warm enough to go outside and do things, so that was exciting. Um, I captured some sunlight today. Uh, so we're going to play some more Pauper. Uh, we're going to play a silly deck. This is not a competitive deck. It can win, and it does win. Um, and there are some decks like burn that it's an auto win um and you know most most decks that are trying to beat you down um it can win pretty well um here's how it works it's, i call it life gain pets it's basically um sort of a soul sisters version for pauper right that's where my idea started from so soul warden souls attendant and essence warden we have 12 soul sisters in the deck right so these Basically, they gain a life every time a creature comes into play. So, um, we also have repeatable way to make tokens. I wanted a shell to play this card, because I played with this card in one of the duels of the Planeswalkers game. I never saw it before, and I was like, this card is sweet. I can't believe this is common. It's really good. And um, in the deck, it has a lot of synergy with the uh, the Soul Sisters, you know, like the Essence board and right? like Okay, tap Essence Ward and put another green 1-1, uh, one, one, gain a life, right? And the more of them you have out, the more life you're gaining. Um, so I thought, what if I just went nuts on life gain? So um, this just made the deck, um, you know, before there were guild gates, because this didn't exist. Now it exists, it's in the deck, it's awesome, gains a life. Um, and how else are we gaining life? we got Centaur Healers, which are pretty beefy, 3-mana, three 3-3s, three you know, in that's n never bad totally on curve and in pauper 3-3 three, three is pretty pretty diesel it's gonna stop most ground threats um, gains you three life in the process um, captured sunlight is kind of like uh, blood raid elf not really but <laughs> it's a uh, it's a cascade you know you'll probably get something free off of this and you'll gain four life so hey you know that's not too bad um, and then Armor Guard is just another beefy dude, and he pumps your team the turn he comes in, you know, which is good if you have a lot of dudes out. And sometimes the deck can make a lot of dudes between the Evangels um, and uh, a couple other cards. There's one Battle Screech in here, um, which is a sick card that I should probably get more of and make more of a token strategy. Problem with token strategies in pauper is uh, electrolyze is or is that the card? electricery electricery is an unfair card in pauper so um that kind of nerfs this as a plan um but you know one of in here is fine and then um sprout swarm i don't know if you've ever played with or against this but this card can get completely out of hand um once you start getting a few creatures into play um you can basically cast this for free uh, with buyback and just keep doing it over and over and over again and um, make an obscene amount of dudes and gain an obscene amount of life in this deck. Um, and then f rounding out our, our deck, so how do we win? Well, so far it looks like we win with a bunch of 1-1s, one which is, um, you know, 50% of the time, or at least we're doing that. The other percent of the time, we're um, using the life gain to stall until we can assemble guard and presence. So... Um, guard is just a 2-3 when another creature enters the battlefield he untaps um, it's an in infinite combo with presence of gone so uh, you know you can uh, tap make a dude uh, tap guard make a dude he untaps because the dude comes into play so on and so forth and you can actually gain infinite life with this via um, any of these 12 things so um, you can make infinite dudes and gain infinite life and at that point it should be, winning should be kind of uh, you know easy. Um, now you'll notice here I have not made a side sideboard for this deck. Um, that's because it's not a competitive deck, and I don't really want it to be. I mean, I guess I could put some something together, some like uh, you know the the divine offering or you know other cards like that where um, there's like life gain tacked on to the sideboard effect, but you know. Um, I could just, you know, play this part of the deck for fun and not worry about a sideboard because I'm not going to play in in tournament or anything like that. So, um, not a big deal on that. So let's get to some games 
and uh, it, hopefully this is as enjoyable to uh, watch as it is to play. Um, I really love it. would be so great if we get paired against like a burn player <laughs> so we can just stall forever and, and we'll very likely get our combo off there. So um, yeah, I, if I can show you guys the uh, going off at least once, it, it'll be worth it.